So, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up, Chris. Clue found oh, one imposter. Look at this. So this is information on the mystery man. Torn up one poster about a fugitive on the mountain dated 1998. Some people didn't. Someone didn't want people to see this. Wanted. Victor Milgram, male, 6'2". Last night, there's Blackwood Pines. Last seen on March 16th, 1998. Wanted in connection with the first degree arson defense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BMP, ugh, BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constabulary. Constabulary. Police Monty. Whatever. <laughs> I'm butchering that as I try to read it. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Collect clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn. Okay. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. When he comes up here. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? He should really not, not that hold that gun in, in her direction. All right. Here goes. JC, five bucks. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. <laughs> JC, thank you for the donation, man. It's a hero's reference, if anybody's wondering. <laughs> thank you, man. This guy needs to go to a All right. I'm gun bad. safety class. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Alright, Roach, take it easy, man. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. That's good me. What are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little guy was alive about 10 seconds ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. I've eaten so many squirrels. Ah! Oh, oh my god, that's oh. that. Get it away. <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? Oh, this mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, <laughs> hey, look. Our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. Are you kidding me? Are you guys mad at me? Do you know how many squirrels I've shot and killed? <laughs> Let me look around a little bit. Uh, make sure I'm not missing anything. It is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Well, the difference would be. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. That we wouldn't just leave the squirrel there. We'd Josh go eat it. Us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that. What people? I I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. What's up, Nate? Uh, I guess we're going in. First, she killed the human race yesterday. Then squirrels today. Just gonna have to keep an eye on him. 
has been going through so much and he seems like the kind of guy who's not going to just ask for help, you know? Like a Pines Hotel and Sanatorium. What a crazy place to set up house. For a healthy body. No matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Oh, that's awesome, dude. What's up, Tidy? And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time. Oh, okay. Shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Squirrel five bucks, my nuts. <laughs> You're pretty tall. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Okay. You can let the timer run out? Okay. What's up, Relics? You coming? Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Thank you for the donation, man. And the tip. Get your car. I did see that. Glosh. Like yeah. one of the prompts. Begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, you know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> he just got friend zone. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. What's up, Indecisive? Oh, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? What's up, Violence? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so... So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. DS squirrel, 10 bucks. Leave my nuts alone. DS, thank you for the donation, man. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to read chat as much while there's talking and stuff going on, so I'll try to catch up um, in little visual scenes like this where there's no story going on. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. So we're just gonna go meet them. There's nothing shiny over here. <gasps> what the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Have the option not to? Oh, okay. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, Glock, thank you for the resub, man. Don't kill Bay Samurai unsub. And Ben, two bucks. Can you pause the game for five minutes? I really have to poop. <laughs> Um, insist, give that back, explain, I'm with Mike now. Um, eh, let's just give it back. Give that back, you tool. 
tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. That is pretty cool looking. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. That's really cool looking. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex, intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. Man, this has got drama all over it. Now. And where's the bellboy when you need one? So you're controlling all of these people. I mean... <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I'm getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean... What do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, we know who Mike is. Intelligent driven, persuasive. You it's got it. Bag. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Awkward. Ooh, threaten. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. It buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. It's kinda <laughs> hot when you get all alpha, you know that? <laughs> oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. Just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. <sighs> I can't be controlling. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. So dramatic. Penguin, thank you so much for the six months of support, man. Love you long time, dude. Ash has a crush on Chris, academic, inquisitive, forthright. Whoa, hello. I knew it. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare oh my you. Gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, wow. 
Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. No. Uh, yeah. Um, sure. Uh, he needs go to ahead. know. Go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, right. oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. Matt. Whoops. Busted. <laughs> She's still just sitting here waiting on Mike. Uh, I guess check phone. What's up, Landon? Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, Snowball, man. Dude, love seeing you play other games. Keep on doing it uh, well, and growing. I don't know. Thank we you, seriously. Like hey! Love you, man. <laughs> oh! Great. <laughs> Boom. Hey, you know that? What is this music? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? <laughs> dude, I'm gonna wreck this, dude. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Hey! Oh snap! Get wrecked, dude. Hello? <laughs> what is this freaking music? Can I hit the bird? Hey, Mike! Boom! Shakalaka! Okay. Oh, you got me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to you do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Damn, Jess. Look what you did. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, no, poor Freddy. It's a bird! Freddy. This is made by oh, PETA? Oh, cool, Jess. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh my god. He just ran. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Michael? <laughs> gotcha! Done! Done city! So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. <laughs> My lady. Uh, let's grab Snowball, man. This is getting weird. <laughs> ah! Oh, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. <laughs> Did you hear that? Uh... Yeah, sounds like... Whoa! Oh my god! That was really close. That thing was gonna kill us. Yeah, I mean... Wow, if you hadn't pulled us out of the way. Toast. Well, let's get out of here. Dude. Yeah. That, that's nuts. Okay. Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages, 
You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Men worry me, women worry me. I guess women. Oh, I can flip the page. Oh, that's cool. Planes. Planes definitely scare me. Heights terrify me. Neither one of these scare me, but... I mean, I guess if it's a rattlesnake, I'd be more scared of it than a rat. Knives are scarier than guns. Oh, cockroach, definitely. Peter Storm area. Um. Clowns would be scarier. Gore, yeah. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Sorry, Peter. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up. The Metronome, more get off me. Your instinct, the more <laughs> honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. All right. They should have. Oh, oh. They should have snowballs in here because apparently snowballs kill birds in one hit. Uh, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna get whatever I choose scares me. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna encounter. Clowns scare me more than zombies. Dogs don't scare me. I used to be ter when I was a kid. I was terrified of storms. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. You're welcome, Peter. <laughs> Spiders, clowns, and thunderstorms. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. It's interesting playing this with viewers because now you guys know more about me. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Shit! First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Oh, son of a bitch! So, I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah, and Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. AKA Elliot. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. 
Oh, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> Yeah, Sam does seem like a good guy. Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Uh. Oh, God. Gossip, I guess. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. This freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all Wait. locked. It's Same be like as a the window girl around the corner. We can get like. Wait, what's his name again? Get open or something. The guy on the right. Oh, it's Josh. We should break in. <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in. Josh is place, awesome. Right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Sam's the main girl, right? <laughs> Marty screwed Hi, up Ash. the names. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Unsettled. Y you doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Maybe they want you to Actually, think Josh is awesome. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Uh, it's, the, it's the anniversary of his sister's deaths. And he's like up here saying, it's been just a year, too. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to bang her, maybe Mike will take up the case. Wait, will you back off or Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. I don't know, man. How can you not know? What if it's like weird? What if she, she might like want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. All right, I don't like him anymore. Oh, I don't like him so at all how anymore. How are planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. I don't like Josh. I don't like Josh. Hmm. Clue found. Oh, this is the mystery man. Wanted and the axe is gone. Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. I just had to turn off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Yeah, he is kind of a D-bag. I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I I don't think so. Here, use this.
Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? I bet. Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm going to go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, let's, uh... What we got? Oh, a totem. It's yellow. I think. Whoa! 